today call where we will read akashic records the files related to renunciation renunciation is nothing but the ability to rejuvenate yourself continuously by dropping the different identities you create for certain purpose but unfortunately associate yourself with it feel one with it renunciation is of different levels renouncing the external wealth which you desire to possess and identify yourself with it renouncing the name and fame with which you identify yourself and possess and feel as one with renouncing people with which you identify yourself possess and feel one with renouncing the identities which you possess and identify yourself and feel one with among these renunciations renouncing the identity is the ultimate renunciation renunciation is the most intelligent thing a living being can do because the renunciation continuously rejuvenates and creates the possibility for higher expressions in your being when the highest expression happens you cross the border of renunciation and renunciation itself becomes you are very being when you are very core becomes renunciation the constant purification a continuous intelligence shining becomes your life constantly renouncing thoughts is unclutching living renunciation as a lifestyle is living enlightenment ajap ajap is a powerful way of renouncing the words and thoughts continuously happening in you feeling connection is a powerful method to renounce all the emotions which are not necessary happening in you and clutching is the ultimate renunciation renouncing all the identities which are unnecessary happening in you 
Renunciation is the ultimate purification process to live enlightenment. The first question on renunciation we have is from Ravi from Vancouver, Canada. Dear Swamiji, why should one become neutral to physical needs? The why do not does not have answer. When the spiritual evolution happens, when spiritual powers are unfolding through your body, becoming neutral to physical needs just happens. As a flow of life, this expresses naturally in you. He is also asking, isn't the very exist very creation of male and female and the senses also the gift of existence? Existence provides everything, including poisons. It is up to you to use what you want and live the way you want, based on the goal you want to reach and the purpose you feel as your life's mission. While savoring the gift of existence, can't we achieve the same highest coherence that we can achieve through renunciation? Whether you savor or renounce, in the end, only when the identities are renounced, highest is achieved. Even what you call as savoring, in the end, only when you are able to renounce the identity, the base ultimate is achieved. Whatever you understand as severing will not lead you to the ultimate and whatever you understand as severing will not lead you to achieve the ultimate truth. Whether you live with it or leave it, identity needs to be dropped. Only when you renounce the identity, ultimate is achieved. If you can renounce the identities, even if those things are around you, you will achieve the ultimate. If you can't renounce the identity, even if you physically move away from those things, you may not be able to achieve the ultimate. Finally, everything boils down to renouncing the identities. The next question is from Sri Nitya Jnana Prabhananda. What is the true meaning of renunciation in the path of sannyas? Renouncing all the outer
world objects which you feel as your possession become one with it out of your delusion renouncing all the people renouncing all the places renouncing all the pleasures renouncing all the thoughts renouncing all the identities renunciation in its complete pure form is sanyas the sanyas even the training of the sanyas done by an incarnation constantly reminds you into the renunciation and puts you in renunciation the next question is from joyce divik how are freedom and renunciation related renunciation is freedom freedom means renunciation The next question is from Estelle Reiter from France. Dear Mahadeva and Kala Bhairava. Dear Master, I listen to many of Swami ji's videos and I realize that I have a deep misunderstanding about renunciation and so many questions are coming up. How do I know whether my bio memory is ready for renunciation? All bio memories by nature programmed for renunciation it is your mind which goes against the renunciation creates more and more troubles and identities misconceptions if you allow your bio memory to function in a free natural way you will not overeat you will not oversee you will not over enjoy you will not indulge in anything as a natural flow you will renounce renunciation is way of life flow of life as per cosmic law she is also asking does it necessarily involve spiritual celibacy celibacy means just keeping yourself physically mentally emotionally away from lust the renunciation in the ultimate sense is keeping yourself away from identities if lust is going to awaken certain strong identities in you keeping away from that identity is renunciation if keeping away from the lust physically mentally emotionally helps you to be away from the identity then that path can be used as a method to renounce the identity but ultimate is renouncing the identity if you think by keeping yourself physically away the identity is not disappearing it is only becoming more and more strong getting strengthened then going through the 
the lust and transforming it into love the pattern out of which you can easily unclutch and renounce and evolve and be free can be evolved it is like diluting the strength of the patterns a lust is too strong pattern if you can go into it and go through it with awareness the patterns gets diluted the influence of that pattern over you gets reduced then it flowers into love then that pattern by nature is very simple does not have too much power over you you can easily move to the next level patternless renunciation full blown being fully flowered enlightened being she is also asking what is a spiritual couple there is no such thing as spiritual couple in cosmic law spiritual means all alone by yourself two spiritual beings does not make spiritual couple they only make two spiritual beings the next question is from mahanand mrityunjay from bangalore swami ji pranam which one is the true and real renunciation to be practiced a mental level renunciation b physical or material level renunciation if you are established in the material level if your mind identify itself constantly in material level material level renunciation also should be practiced if you are established only in mental level mental level renunciation is enough but mental level renunciation is necessary for everyone material level renunciation can be decided based on the level in which you are established nitendra thank you for watching and if you found the video enlightening please give it a like share it with your loved ones and subscribe to stay connected with us Don't forget to click the bell icon to receive the notifications.